What's it guys, it's me again, JJ Goji. I'm actually back from my first G-Fest that I went to in Chicago. And it was actually really, really good, actually. I think I didn't think it would be that fun. I met lots of YouTubers like Louis Duran, Godzilla, Goji Franklin, and many more, actually. But today, I want a review of my haul and what I got at G-Fest. Okay, first up, my small thing that I got at G-Fest was this, um, like... Six dollar little finger puppet of, I think it's it's GMK when he's fighting Baragon in the movie, the part when he's just like drop kicking him into the rocks and the mountain. But it's kind of like a finger puppet too. You can hold it with your fingers, see. And um, I know my brother got one. He got this Akira one. But anyway, this is actually really good for like six dollars. I've never even seen this before. I actually really like it. But on to the next thing I got. Um just put that there. I got this um I don't know. Um I'm just gonna call it the form three, the the third form. Um when it's like roaring up. It's like a gash pond or something. I got it for five dollars in this bin and I actually kinda liked it. I like how it's I like how it's posed. There was the second form, but that got really quick sold out. I wanted to do is you know, came back in and it was gone. Let's put this there. Oh yeah, it was, this was six dollars and now it's five dollars. And then um the third thing I got was the um you know these um these like mini little candy toys um 2017 Godzilla and um got this for ten dollars. The gum in the, the gum in the box is like really good with it, but the taste goes like really quick. But on to the one of the most figures I really wanted there. Hold on, let me go get him for a second. Hold on. I got the um Martha Leo figure. For only twenty dollars actually. I know he's missing one leg. That's the only bad thing about him though. Well, I see this crack in the wing, but it's not like it's gonna break. And you can also take the wings and leg off too. And if you go on on the back of it, um there's also this um little button that makes our wings flap. I'm hoping to get maybe the Desgador next G Fest. But anyway, on the next thing I got, I got the um Bandai 2019 Rodan Movie Monster Series. Look, I know the tag's not on him, but I have this bin where I take the tags off the figures and put them all in the bin. And that's where I put Rodan's. I got all the Bandai's. Um, I know I got King Ghidorah, I got Rodan, and um, my brother got Martha and Godzilla. But this is only $20. I don't know how I found it for $20. But anyway, this is a real good pickup. And um, I think I got like, maybe three more figures. Um, this is the main one I really, really wanted to get. I got the um, Bandai Cretaceous King Ghidorah for only $25. I know it, doesn't, it didn't come with the tag, but it was only $25. Really worth it. I can never find this guy ever. I got this guy on the second day. Um, unfortunately, we didn't stay the third day. Because uh, I think my mom had work or something. But overall, um, this is a real good pickup. And I got, um, I was really stoked to get this actually. It was um, the Godzilla um, Aftershock book. Um, you can pause the video and read the saying on the back if you want to, but I'm not going to spoil it for you guys if you haven't seen it, but this is a real good book. You should probably pick it up. And I think I have um, nothing else, actually. That was, these are all the things I got at G-Fest. All the things my brother got at G-Fest are, huh? He's going to review them right now. All right, guys. So now it's me, the brother. But this time, I'm going to review what I got. So, first I got this little Shen. Only $10. It was just like my brother's. He had a candy with him. And a good-sized box, but I only got it for the figure. It was pretty good because I like the purple spikes in the tail. I like how the, and the spikes is all purple. It's kind of like a small, it's kind of like a smaller version of the Climax version. That's one thing he got. Alright, moving on. Next, I got this King of the Monsters figure for only $10. Let's 
I saw this in the eight dollar box, but the guy said it was ten. I still got it anyway, and I love the wings on this thing. I can't tell if these are really wings, but I think they are, because I know King of the Monsters can fly. Great articulation with the tail and the arms, and he's pretty unique of a figure. Well, that's all I'll be showcasing for him. Next, I got this Martha Larvae. Only ten dollars. That's the movie, um, movie monster series version. Got this with the tag and everything. Picked like, it up and I loved it. Like I said, the wonder why the tag is not on the figure. It's I put it in a bin where we put all of our tags. Just to let you guys know. All right, next I got this Godzilla 1990s with the blue spikes. I saw this figure and I just had to pick it up because I wanted this Godzilla. And when I heard that he was only 20, I had to pick him up. Can I like the movie? Can I like the um, Monster Island Buddies version? Yeah, that's him. Glad I got this figure. Then next I got this EX Gamora. Too bad he's missing the horn here. But it was only $7. That's worth it. I mean, if he if he had the horn, he'd probably be like thirty something. But I still saw his figure and I picked it up. Only eight dollars for this. Uh, not much to say about this figure. Then next, I got this two thousand four Angaris. Only twenty five dollars. Yeah, didn't you get a deal on it from Fresh Vinyl? Yeah, he was thirty five, but I had only twenty seven, so we made a deal and I got it for twenty five. I'm glad I got this figure because we're trying to make a 2 out of 5 collection and he was one that I really needed. Or we'll find a worse collection to make it more obvious. Yeah, I should not have said 2 out of 5. Oh, it's okay. This doesn't know what you mean. Then next, a figure I lost but then got it back again. Godzilla 2005 Final Wars. I think that's the Bandai Creations version. Yeah, I had the normal Bandai but I sort of lost them. So at G Fest, I I saw it for thirty and I grabbed them. It was on the first day as well. Not much to say about this figure, but I'm just so glad I got a replacement. So I remember I was just moving his toys because he got some two big figures that are pretty big actually. And um, while he's getting those figures, um, I actually forgot to review one figure I got. Um, I got the um, Gamera 3 Revenge of Iris figure for only $20. He doesn't have the tag, but there's nothing bad on him. There's no scratches, no bad paint jobs. and Overall, I like him. Like He's actually a pretty standard figure. But yeah, I got that for $20. And um, one of the one of the most surprising figures we got for only twenty dollars was the um, GMK the King Ghidorah, the actual figure. The only mess up is that black patch right there. The only thing right there, he doesn't come with a tag, but it was only twenty dollars. I made Louis Grant surprised by this figure. And my mo my brother's most favorite figure that he got was the um. Theater exclusive 2002. Um, all right, I got this figure for only 30. I was surprised by this because seeing this guy for only $30, I had to pick this thing up because I wanted a movie theater exclusive. But when I saw this for 30, my mind was set. I had to get this figure, and there's nothing really bad on him, he has great articulation, he can move. And nothing bad on any part of his body. Really like the like, dark blue spines. Kind of looks like Vegeta's uh, evolved form. You know, the Susan Blue evolved form. Or Ultra Blue, whatever they call it. But uh, just, to make sure, just to make sure that we really did go to G-Fest, um, I got to go get the other things that, that we got there. Um, not to forget, I got the tag. Well, you know, the tag we get to go to G-Fest. Yes, my name is Ty Foster. Um, I'm so glad we went. And here is my brother's tag. I was glad I went to G-Fest, and once I got my tag, I put that on immediately. And we also got, um, we got the book, but I don't know where it is right now. 
I'll show it to you later, but we also got this, um, art. I think this girl made it. It was, like, really awesome. It was only for $10. She also signed it right there. And, um, we got this bigger art of G Fantas versus Kong. It was 15 but we don't want to mess it up right now. And we also got this, um, King Goji 0679, um, kind of thing we tell them the gmail and stuff and um we got this little godzilla sticker really awesome too we got this other little sticker it's like all oh, this other godzilla is 2000 dmk 19 that's the henze version shin godzilla 1954 and final wars goji and we also got the not zilla with a preview or something for it we didn't see the movie, but I wish I did. It was on Sunday. And the official G Fantas figure is coming in 2020. This is what my brother wants to get so bad. That's why I was saving for next G Fest. And this is our mom's tag. Not really to say. And that's gonna be it for my haul. That's gonna be it for our haul video. To let you know this is what everything that we got. Well, See you guys in the next video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.